I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question based on area of polygon. The question here is area of regular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F is 384 cube square root of 3 centimeter square. P is midpoint of D side opposite to A, B. Find the area of triangle A, B, P. Right? So we need to find area of this triangle. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, to find the area, what we can do is we basically need to find the height and the base. We are given area of hexagon. Hexagon is sum of six triangles. So, let's find area of each triangle. So if I drop a perpendicular from here, we can actually form, we can see that this height is twice from the symmetry the height of each triangle which we can have in it right now in a hexagon we have six equilateral triangles as shown that is one of them let us assume that this triangle which we have drawn let me redraw here let's call this point as O right let's call this as Q so in this particular triangle let's assume that each side is 2x then when you draw a perpendicular It is going to divide this into equal parts. So this will be x. And the height will be equal to what? 2x square minus x square square root. Right. So this height. So in this case height is going to be 2x whole square minus x square square root. Which basically is 3x square square root. Or you can write this as x square root of 3, right? So that is the height. Now, since we are given area of the whole hexagon, we can actually find area of each triangle. So uh, let me write area of each triangle will be given area 384 square root of 3 divided by 6. Okay? So that is going to be, let's calculate, we'll divide 384 by 6, we get 64, and of course square root 3, so we get 64 square root 3. So 64 square root 3 is area of each triangle. Now we could equate this 64 square root 3 to area of a triangle which is half of base, base is 2x times height which is x square root 3 and from here we can find side lengths right that's the whole idea so if you simplify this 2 and 2 cancel so we get 64 square root 3 equals to x square square root 3 or 64 equals to x square we can say 8 is equals to x so that means each side length is 2x which is 16 right so so what we get here is that the base ab which is 2x will be equal to 2 times 8 which is 16 so a to b that is 16 for us now what is OQ? So let's figure this out. OQ is basically x square root 3. So x is 8, so that is 8 square root 3. Now PQ will be how much? PQ will be twice OQ. So that will be twice 8 square root 3, correct? 
which is 16 square root 3. So for finding the area of triangle ABP, we have all the required things. So area of triangle ABP will be equal to half of AB, which is 16, times the total height, which is 16 square root 3. Correct? Now, so we when we calculate, we get 16 times 8 and uh, 8 times 16. So we get 48, 8 and 4, 128 square root 3. Units will be centimeter square. Is that clear? So that is how we'll find the area of this particular triangle. Now here is a shortcut to this because this at times could be asked in a multiple choice test paper. So the shortcut is area of this triangle basically area of triangle ABP is basically two times area of triangle AOP. That is the shortcut, just twice this area. Okay. We found that each area is 64 square root 3. So you could check from here. So if I write 2 times 64 square root 3, that's what we had here. Correct. 8 times 8 is 64 times 2. Right. So we get the same value, which is 128 square root 3. So in any hexagon, if that is the situation, then the area of this uh, triangle shown will be twice area of the of each triangle. Is it clear to you? So I hope that trick helps you to answer many multiple choice questions. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.